Well, here we are again, cruising on the Old Town 136. I am in the Susquehanna River. It is May the uh, 3rd today, 2021. Thought I'd do a little bit of fishing today. Left work a little bit early. There is uh, some serious current going on on the other side of, of this here where the river is. So I snuck back here to just be in some calmer waters, do a little bit of fishing. But I am going to creep around the bend here and uh, see how well it does with the river's high current. Uh, this river can move pretty fast. It rained yesterday. You can see how muddy the water is. So I don't know how how good the fishing is going to be today. Already the the current's picking up a little bit here uh, as we're getting closer to, I don't know if you can see the bridge over there. And uh, so the boat's already starting to slow down. But it, it moves, it's, it's handling it. I do feel secure in this, very stable. Uh, I have it in setting five and it's barely doing 0.5 miles. Right now it's almost at a standstill. That's because the, uh, the water's moving that fast here. I could ramp it up. I'm just kind of creeping slowly because uh, I don't know what's in here. I don't want to hit a log or anything. So, or, or some rocks. As you can see, the water's very muddy and it's moving pretty fast. That's the Route 30 bridge there. Oh, it looks like a pile of stuff on the other side of that. See that? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was telling my wife the other day, I, I like the ocean and the bays much more than rivers. Rivers are, I feel they're more dangerous and unpredictable. But they're still fun to fish in. Just have to be careful. Okay, here we are in the mighty Susquehanna in the Old Town Autopilot 136. The water is moving fast today. I did go up the river somewhat. I wanted to see how fast the motor, if it could handle it, and it, and it can. Uh, now I'm just kind of cruising downstream. I have it on setting three and it's doing three miles an hour. I bet if I put it on 10, it'll probably really move. Uh, but yeah, water's muddy. It rained a lot yesterday. There's some current. I've seen it worse. It's not too bad today. Okay, so I went down the river a few miles. And now we're trucking back. I've been on 10, speed 10, for about 30 minutes. And it's uh, barely doing two, two and a half miles an hour. So, current definitely will be playing a big role in uh, where you should take these things out. Uh, what can take you 
15 minutes to go downstream with the current can take you easily 45 minutes or an hour to get back. So you gotta make sure you have enough battery power for that. I mean, if the motor and battery died right now, I'd literally have to just uh, paddle myself to land somewhere and have somebody come pick me up because uh, there's no way I'd be able to paddle up this river to get back to the dock that I launched from. So again, this is the Susquehanna and uh, there's always a lot of current here. Uh, there's a dam behind me and I'm guessing, uh, I'm not really sure what affects how fast the current's gonna flow. I'm assuming if they open the dam, the current's gonna move a little faster than if it's closed. And it's probably open right now because this water is moving fast. So again, uh, I was concerned, but looks like I have more than enough battery power. So on speed 10, I've been on speed 10 for eh, maybe 25 minutes now. It's, it's struggling to do two miles an hour, two, 2.1. There was a moment back there where it was barely doing one mile an hour. Uh, there was a lot of current in a certain part of the river behind me. So things that you have to consider when taking these things out. It's not the same as a boat with a motor where you can, you know, you can go against the current. Hell, even in idle with my bass boat, I could go up, up this river easily. So, but I'm so happy with this. It's just, uh, you gotta be conscious of where you take it fishing and the conditions, the wind. I mean, if I was going into a headwind right now, I'd be screwed. Uh, I don't even know if it, if, it would, if it would be able to move me back up here. See, like right now we're down to 1.6, 1.7 miles an hour. Uh, so there's more current coming down where I'm at now. But I find if you get closer to land, uh, it, you get more traction, if you will. Uh, the water will move more on that side of the river than it will by land. So if you hug if you hug the shore, you'll have you'll, you'll get better speed. See now I'm back up to two two point one as I got a little bit closer to land over here. So again, it works. You just have to be conscious of where and how you use it. It's still fun. A lot of fun. I'm very comfortable. Enjoying a nice cold beer. Got my feet feet up. Plenty of room in this boat. Sun's out. Weather's nice. I'm happy. 2.3 miles an hour right now. See, as I got closer to land. So, alrighty. Well, that was an adventure. Looks like I drained about half my batteries coming back up the river there. Against the current. Now I know, I think next time if I come out here, ooh, I won't go downstream. I, I, will, I would much rather go upstream uh, and then drift back down. Oh, I caught something. I caught a stick fish. Aren't these fun to catch? That's a good one. Anyway, so like I was saying, 
much better to drift or to ride it upstream and then kind of you can drift back down But I just love being out in the water, so it's great. Still happy with this spot lock. Gotta love it. Water's really muddy today. <laughs> 